Hi guys, welcome out to Melbourne Muscle. Um, we're training out of my gym this week and for the next couple of videos. We are currently six weeks out Sunday to the Victorian Championships IFBB. Um, we are today training arms. We're going to take you through an arm session. Um, Jerry and I have no plans on what we're actually doing today. We're going to start off with some standing curls. Then we're going to go into some prone curls and then we'll sort of work our way from there. Uh, over the course of the video today, we'll, we'll explain what we're actually doing. Uh, and then, um, yeah, you guys have any questions of that, hit us up and we can explain more in detail. Do you have anything to say? No. Nah, that's it. <laughs> so, we're just doing a warm up set at the moment. Um, Jaron, when he takes his top off, you'll actually understand that he's got quite big arms. So, um, as he's curling the actual weight, he's trying to drag as much as he can with his wrist which uh, enables the attachment point to the bicep to contract the most at the start of the movement. Um, this is just a warm up set. So once, once we take our tops off from that, I can explain a bit more in detail of what we're trying to do and how to get out a little bit with the pinky. So what we're gonna try and do now is we're gonna go into some working sets. Uh, we've done one, two, three, three warm up sets. I've got a little bit of a niggly injury with my forearm, so I try and get it as super warm as I can. Um, we're going to go into working sets now. We're going to go into just normal standing curls, uh, 22 and a half kilo dumbbells. The key to this is, is when, you, when you're turning the dumbbell up into the contraction, try and roll a little bit of your, your pinky or out. Um, the key to that is it actually helps you squeeze and get a better contraction through your bicep. So um, try that on your next workout, it does, does work, it's very effective. Arms have been a very weak body point for me, so I've been trying over the last six weeks to bring them up. Um, I think they're okay, but they're not my strongest point, so, um, so try that in the next workout. Just pronate your hand out. So next up we're going to do uh, seated curls, lying back, um, going to get a full stretch of the dumbbell all the way down, curl up and squeeze, get a good contraction, probably go for 12 to 15 or so, see how we go. So as you can see, he's getting a full stretch at the bottom, he's not moving his arm, all of it's coming from his elbow, so just bending flexing the elbow, getting a good squeeze at the top. Gives a good burn. What? Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go into a prone curl, which is an incline reverse curl. We're going to be laying over the bench, um, which allows no movement or 
uh, rotation of shoulders, so it's just flexion strictly from the elbow. Um, we'll start off with a lighter weight and then go to a heavier weight. We're looking at probably 22s, 25s, maybe 27s. We'll go for reps of uh, 15, uh, three sets of that. So as you can see, as he's actually curling the bar up, there's no rotation whatsoever through his shoulder. It's coming strictly from flexion of elbow. So it eliminates all, pretty much all um, throwing the weight around. He's using no momentum whatsoever. It's all contraction strictly from the bicep. What we're doing now is we're going to go into a superset. We're going to do a straight bar cable curl into a close grip easy bar curl. So we're going to do uh, 15 and 15 of each of three sets. So um, the weight, the weight needs to be easy enough, um, easy enough to still get your 15, but heavy enough to make the second, the second exercise super heavy. So um, you've got to judge your weight accordingly, obviously to to. Um, your strength, so um, I'll start off on the first one. What Jez is doing here, if you can actually see his angle, his angle is slightly off, so it's not directly at 90 degrees, he's come back a bit, which allows him to keep his elbow slightly forward, which puts the emphasis on the actual bicep a lot more, and his grip is wider, slightly wider, which will hit the lateral head of the bicep. Grab the Alice. As he goes into this, he wants to stand over the weight just a little bit. So it's only just a short movement at the bottom. So when you go into these ones, guys, you got the close grip. So a lot of people will start like back, like he's leaning back at the moment. If you lean forward and step in close to it, change the range of motion so you bring your elbows slightly back and just short contractions when you curl up. Just gives that different tight squeeze. It's really beneficial. Three more. One, two, three. Okay, we're going to go into triceps now. We're going to do um, a straight bar press down, which Jaron's setting up at the moment. Uh, the key to this is to have your elbows really past your back. So the movement is strictly on the interior head of the tricep, which uh, once you start doing it, you can actually feel the tension just by pulling your elbows back into it. Um, as for me, as I was saying earlier, Arms are a weak point, so I've been trying a lot to, to bring them up and the thickness of my arm. So this has been a great exercise to help me build the thickness within my tricep. Um, a, lot of, a lot of guys, when they go into a front double bicep, don't have a big hang from their tricep. Uh, Jez is, when Jez does a bicep, his hang is quite low, which means that he hits the interior head quite well. Um, for blokes like me that struggled, I'm trying to bring that area up. Um, this exercise will help you do that.
the emphasis that we're trying to get by his elbows being back is the interior head of the tricep is contracting harder than the lateral head. So a tricep's a tricep, even though you're still gonna be tracking the, the whole muscle. The key is, is to put a bit more pressure on a particular area of the insertion of it. So by him keeping his elbows back, it's putting more pressure on the interior head of that contraction. And Jer Jaren's actually starting to feather now. So the leaner he gets, the more detail as he, his arms are getting. So next up guys, we're gonna be doing a one arm to the side. Okay, we'll push down, just for your triceps. So you just bring your arm down, squeeze really hard at the bottom, and just don't bring any higher than your chest because you don't want to move your arm. Just keep it locked in. Just move down and get a good squeeze. We're gonna finish on uh, rope extension. We're gonna use uh, one of the machines out here where it's padded, so it allows you not to be using any momentum or swinging of your body, uh, which keeps everything in alignment and uh, nice and um, nice and structurally strong so as you can see with with the contraction he's not moving there's no swaying it's all strictly tricep uh, which I find if you have one of these machines at your gym they're great um, obviously you can't put your back against the wall but if you have um, a machine like this uh, it allows strictly no movement which is good so another thing with this uh, exercise is it takes all body movement out of play. So you can just really focus on your triceps and the muscle group that you're trying to work. So if you struggle to activate or struggle to get a good squeeze in your triceps, this would be a good exercise for you to do because it just isolates that one muscle group. So give it a go.